I love you. It's like, why don't we say that every day? Why can't we say it more often? Welcome to Miss Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 teen movie co-stars who are best friends in real life. It's really weird. For this list, we'll be looking at celebs who appeared together in teen-centered films who have a significant friendship. Which of these pairings are true BFF goals? Let us know in the comments below. If you like what you're hearing, be sure to check out the full song at the link below. Number 10, Lily Rose Depp and Harley Quinn Smith. No, it's you, babe. Whenever I get weary. These two actors are bona fide Hollywood royalty. While Depp is the daughter of Johnny Depp, Smith counts actor-director Kevin Smith as her father. In an interview with Nylon, the pair revealed they've actually been friends since kindergarten. And their near lifelong bond helped influence their character's dynamic in Kevin Smith's 2016 horror comedy, Yoga Hosers. <laughs> Reprising their roles from the 2014 flick Tusk, Depp and Smith play yoga loving teen best friends, both named Colleen, who work at a convenience store. <laughs> no way, it's Mr. Mustache. After an assault on the shop by monsters leaves their classmates dead, they must clear their own names and stay alive. In a movie full of surreal moments, much of the actor's own sense of humour made it into the final cut. Stop it! I'm itchy! Stop it! Number 9, Shailene Woodley and Miles Teller. I thought for a second that maybe you were dead. I don't think I'm dead. This pair met after being cast in the 2013 coming-of-age romantic drama, The Spectacular Now. They play Sutter and Amy, teens navigating personal issues while contemplating college admissions and their futures more broadly. Woodley and Teller show off amazing chemistry, but their personal and working relationships persisted after that film wrapped. It's pretty strong. Oh my god. Yeah. Ew. Yeah, I know. They've spoken about the personal bonds they share, as well as their complementary acting styles. In 2013, Woodley noted, We just naturally became friends, and he became my brother for life. I want to do a movie a year with him. Sure enough, they've co-starred in three Divergent films since. What is it? Try it out, and you'll see. Plus, they've even been spotted at the Kentucky Derby and on a couple's vacation in Hawaii. Number eight, Chris Evans and Scarlett Johansson. Hey. Do you guys know the name of that kid with the Percocet addiction? Um, that's... No. These two Hollywood A-listers have co-starred in numerous movies as part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Are you here to do your laundry? Good to see you, friend. But their very first collaboration dates back to 2004 with the teen comedy heist flick, The Perfect Score. Johansson has compared the close-knit dynamic on set to college. Of her experience meeting Evans and their MCU characters, Johansson has said, We could talk for hours about all kinds of stuff. I think, in a way, the sort of big sister relationship that Nat has with Steve, even though Chris is a couple of years older than me, I think we sort of have that dynamic. Well, gosh, Pacey, maybe I don't think you and Dawson can pull it off. Do you have a plan? We're working yeah, on it. We're working on it. Number seven, Jonah Hill and Michael Sarah. What about, like, perfect ten? Something like that, you know? Like, perfect ten? These actors' experiences on the set of 2007's Superbad brought them together, and they've been close ever since. That acclaimed flick starred the duo as badly behaved high school seniors who get into all kinds of trouble ahead of an important house party. You bailed on me, okay? You bailed on me this morning when Jesse spat on me, and you're bailing on me next year. It finally comes out. On an appearance on the A24 podcast in 2019, they reflected on their relationship and its origins. From receiving instructions from Judd Apatow to simply hang out, to embarking on a globe-trotting press tour, the pair's friendship had a one-of-a-kind beginning. They also bonded over becoming widely recognizable practically overnight. Fame is notoriously tricky to navigate, and it's heartening to hear that these two stars continue to have each other's backs. I just love you. I just want to go to the rooftops and scream, I love my best friend Evan. We should go up on my roof. For sure. 
Number six, Tobey Maguire and Leonardo DiCaprio. This pair first worked together back in 1993 on This Boy's Life. I was gonna get out too, for sure. But in the meantime, we made some new friends. The coming-of-age drama focuses on DiCaprio's Toby Wolf, a teenager in the 1950s whose relationship with his potential stepfather is strained, to say the least. But they actually met as kids in the late 1980s. DiCaprio recounted their origin story to Esquire, noting that he recognized Maguire from auditions while the latter was filming outdoors in LA. Since that fateful day, they've partied in Ibiza, collaborated on The Great Gatsby, and have even been next door neighbors. I'm afraid I haven't been a very good host on sport. You see, I'm Gatsby. They may not be considered quintessential teen movie stars, but they're one of Hollywood's leading bromances. There goes Carol Baumgarten. And she's sweet. She's out for Wolf. Yeah, yeah, I wish. Number five, Caitlin Diva and Beanie Feldstein. The 2019 coming of age buddy comedy, Book Smart, features this dynamic duo as high school BFFs. Molly and Amy have spent their time getting good grades, but begin regretting their straight laced ways in their last week of high school. We have to go to a party tonight. What? Let's go to Nick's party. Katie Silberman, who produced and wrote the film, remarked to IndieWire that Diva and Feldstein had an incredible real life rapport that's hard to find between stars. Considering what a good time book smart is, we're not exactly shocked the actresses got along swimmingly between takes. Diva is on the record saying, When I met Beanie, I immediately fell in love with her. I think she's one of the most incredible people I've ever met in my life. That kind of statement speaks for itself. <laughs> I can be the last one on the plane. <laughs> What's wrong with you? You wanna get pancakes? Number four, Sarah Michelle Gellar and Selma Blair. So rumor has it that you went on a date with Court Reynolds. I hear he's very nice. He's all right. The 1999 film Cruel Intentions is a modern classic of 90s teen movies. The salacious romantic drama stars Geller as a conniving prep school student opposite Ryan Philippi. She has it out for Blair's Cecile, a classmate whom her ex-boyfriend left her for. Eyes closed. Although their characters don't always get along in the movie, they do share an unforgettable smooch that the actresses have recreated twice. <laughs> Their social media profiles made it clear that they still have nothing but love for one another and remain close to this day. Blair has spoken of Geller's support through her diagnosis with multiple sclerosis and even referred to her friend as one of the great loves of her life on Instagram. Number three, Tom Holland and Zendaya. You're gonna love this. <laughs> we know, we know, these two are a little more than BFFs. But long before they made their relationship public in 2021, the pair spoke highly of each other as friends. They met while filming 2017's Spider-Man Homecoming, which introduced Holland as the big screen's third version of the Marvel hero. Probably stop staring before it gets creepy though. Too late. You guys are losers. Of meeting Zendaya, Holland told People magazine, We are like the best of friends. She's so great and amazing. He elaborated on leaning on his co-star for advice on dealing with newfound fame, while she's also spoken on bonding with Holland during press tours. Considering the glowing words they've shared, it's not exactly shocking that they've sparked up a romance. I had this plan, this stupid plan, and I wrote it all down and I was gonna buy you this and give it to you in Paris at the top. Number two, Vanessa Hudgens and Ashley Tisdale. I hate to think today is... Goodbye. No worries. My mom promised I'm here until graduation next year. Bless mom's little heart. These stars are known for blessing us with not one, but three high school musical movies. In those films, they play Gabriela Montez, a brainy new student at school, and self-obsessed Queen Bee, Sharpay Evans, respectively. And don't lecture me about Ryan given the way you've been interfering with Troy's future. But somewhat surprisingly, the multi-talented celebs didn't actually meet on the set of the Disney Channel original movie. Rather, they first crossed paths as kids on the set of a commercial. Their bond is clearly rock solid, with Hudgens joining Tisdale's bridal party back in 2014. 
In 2020, meanwhile, Hudgens spilled on Instagram that the duo were giving each other decorating tips during home renos. Uh, those vocal exercises? Boo! 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 Ma! <laughs> See ya. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Blake Lively, Ava Tamblin, Alexis Bledel, and America Ferreira. Somehow we would always find our way back to each other. And with that, we could get through anything. It's fitting that this foursome starred in a movie about true sisterhood and its sequel. That would be 2005's The Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants, a comedy drama about a group of friends who share a pair of jeans that somehow fits them all. <laughs> Tonight, on the eve of our separation, magic has come to us in a pair of pants. Partly because of how touching that 2000s flick is, we've been thrilled to see the cast reunite numerous times in the years since. In particular, Tamblin and Ferreira's Instagram pages have shown touching tributes to their former castmates, along with silly snapshots, of course. From attending each other's weddings to meeting each other's kids, it warms our hearts to see these ladies maintain such a strong connection. To the pants, and the sisterhood, and this moment, and the rest of our lives. Together, Together and apart. Do you agree with our picks? Let us know in the comments. And hey, if you're a fan of the song playing right now, be sure to check out the music video for it right here.